After talking about hustle culture last week, I realized that the well-mannered cousin of hustle culture is really just having a creative process because um, that is what's going to allow you to do the work over time that gets you the results that you want to see and get you closer to those uh, little goals that add up to the bigger goals over time. So uh, this video is all about finding your creative process and I have three steps that you can customize jumping off of last week's tip about time management. So I would go back and watch that video if you want a little bit more context, but basically I recommended um, setting aside time 30 minutes before your full-time job or whatever you do normally during your days and setting aside 30 minutes after that um, majority chunk of your day to work on, let's just call it your passion project. I don't know if I love that, um, but it is, uh, it's your goal. It's what you're looking to accomplish. It is sort of the next evolution of you, your growth, the next step, and you have to work on these things outside of what you normally do if you want to um, evolve that way and grow that way. So the first uh, step is, I wrote them down on my screen, let's see how this goes instead of that notebook that I sometimes have. So the first step is establish a consistent routine. So that's uh, basically what I was just talking about. And that is, um, it is all about habits here that um, you help incorporate. When I first started filming videos, it was, uh, I, don't, I don't remember it being overwhelming. It was probably overwhelming because there was a lot to do to set up all this before I actually started. Um, but then um, because I made it a habit to just do it consistently every week and I did a lot of prep work before I even started um, filming videos every week, um, it, it really just becomes part of your routine. And you do that by from the get-go establishing um, a consistent routine. And um, I really like that, that 30 minutes before and after. It just, it seems so manageable to me. And uh, it kind of leads into the second step of finding your creative process, which is set a specific goal for these work sessions. And um, so yeah, why it seems so manageable is because um, they're short periods of time. Uh, you still can fit in all of your extra life stuff uh, for the most part. And you know, on some days, if you only get that 15 minutes before work or that 15 minutes after work, you're still doing something and it's still keeping you um, in the routine of working towards what you're working towards. Um, so, and it, it is just really, um, satisfying because, and that, that is what, um, the second step of set a specific goal is all about. So even if you don't know exactly what you want to work on during those, um, sessions, set that as a goal, even if it's just brainstorm or doodle, um, set a specific goal for that work session and only focus on that. Of course, if other things come up um, and you, you know, you go on tangents during your work session because you're inspired and inspiration has hit, cool. That is all part of the process. And that is something you'll find as you do customize the, um, all of what I'm talking about to what works for you. But starting with, hey, I have my 30 minutes set aside before work today. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just brainstorm and let's start just like writing things out when no matter what else happens during that 30 minutes, um, you know that you did work on something and all of that work that doesn't look like work is really the foundation um, for, for building what you want to build because the creative process is chaotic and it doesn't make a lot of sense um, and it's not linear. Um, and it doesn't look like work a lot of the time. Um, but set a specific goal so that um, you feel satisfied and accomplished at the end of your work session, even if you just doodled for 30 minutes, you did what you set out to do. And then the third step is setting up a way to share your work. And this can be before you're even ready to share anything. It could be months. It could be years before you're ready to share. I mentioned in um, my last video that I created a Instagram for Vision Fairy. And I have nothing there yet. And I'm not doing anything there. And it's all pretty much empty. Um, but I'm working on stuff that is not ready because nothing is, is finished. But I am working on 
things every day. Um, and so when I am ready, I already have this platform where I can start sharing my work. And it's, again, it's, I really think feeling satisfied as an artist is a big part of finding your creative process because it's not always going to be pretty, but it just, it feels just, um, really good to have that little bit of work under your belt and know that all you have is what you choose to do every day. And so setting aside time for this, setting your specific goal and eventually having a way to share, which is a recap of all of these steps, really just positioned you for whatever else comes up or whatever direction your project is going in. So I think, I think, I think I did, I'm just reviewing my tips <laughs> that I wrote on the screen. I think the screen's okay. You don't see me looking down as much. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, so if you're not already subscribed, click the red subscribe button below the video and tap the notification bell for more tips about writing and finding your creative process every Wednesday. If you like these tips, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next week.